Xinjiang, the nation's largest province and according to some, the world's largest open prison. Xinjiang is the homeland of the Uyghurs, Turkic people of Islamic faith. Uyghurs in the United States are getting contacted by Chinese authorities and told to provide information. Everyone got someone as a hostage by the Chinese government. China's rulers have struggled to control the region and its people for two millennia. Surveillance technology is the new weapon in their campaign. China using DNA to track Muslim Uyghurs in Xinjiang. According to Human Rights Watch, Chinese authorities in Xinjiang are collecting DNA samples along with other biometric data from all residents in the region between the ages of 12 and 65. And every 100 metres or so you see a police station and they're aided with enormous amounts of CCTV cameras, uh, with facial recognition, um, to really have a total control here. China is facing international condemnation for its mass detainment of ethnic Uyghurs and its crackdown on Tibetans and people of various faiths. The locals can't speak with us. Armed guards and cameras keep a watchful eye and Chinese flags claim the rooftops, even the dome of the mosque. If you harm Chinese, you're deemed trustworthy and granted freedom of movement. But if you're Uyghur, your average, with restrictions imposed on travel and religious practices. If you're a Uyghur male who breaks those restrictions, you're marked as untrustworthy and detained in what the party calls education and training centres. The Muslim world is probably going through its worst phase right now. But you won't speak out against what's happening in China? If I had enough knowledge, I would speak about it. I actually, it is not thought so much in the papers. But there's Pakistani men that have gone to protest about their wives being detained. I haven't heard about that. Thank you. What is clear is that there is quite a brutal, repressive crackdown going on here, and technology is at the centre of it.